Welcome back to YZ's Travel Adventures. Let's check out another Asian area. This time it is called Box Hill in Victoria, not New South Wales. After reading about it, I could not wait to visit this place because I heard it had a large Chinese population. So as usual, I like to compare Asian areas in Sydney and Melbourne just to get a feel of what it's like. So there's Chinese people from many provinces in the suburb, including Malaysians of Chinese descent. So you'll be spoiled for choice when it comes to food. In fact, this suburb arguably has the best bakut there of the entire country. It is as good as whatever you can get from Klang in Malaysia. Over the past 10 years, we noticed that Box Hill has gone through significant change in the suburb. So this place used to have lots of one-story brick houses, but nowadays many of them are turning into apartment blocks to emulate the lifestyle of mainland China, so that the new Chinese coming to the suburb get a familiar feel of their homeland. Many even say that Box Hill will potentially become a second CBD for Melbourne, and I would also say so given that there is a suburban loop being built in the foreseeable future. However, there is still heaps of greenery despite these apartment blocks. It's like seeing Central Park in New York City. Box Hill Gardens is pretty tranquil as well, I'll tell you that. Anyway, Box Hill is still quite a distance away from the CBD, as you'll need to spend around half an hour to take the train there. So we go from Flinders Street and head into Box Hill Station. After we enter the station, we see a hall that is covered. It kind of reminds me of the infrastructure in the 1970s. The building looks a little bit outdated. So as we walk in, the first thing we see are some food stores, including the food courts that serve all sorts of Chinese food. So they have Hong Kong food and Malaysian food. Heck, they even have Hawker Chan branch, which is from Singapore as well. Furthermore, if you walk down, you will notice that there's some shopping areas where you can buy Chinese groceries and more food. But it's a relatively small shopping center for a suburb of its size, which is continuing to see large expansion as more and more apartment blocks are being built. It's a good time to buy property here if you want somewhere convenient, but I don't think this is investment advice. When we get out of the shopping center, we head into the station street where there are many more Chinese restaurants. So you can get mala tang, hot pot, classic Cantonese food, and even Malaysian food. The street adjacent even has a liquor store, more Chinese restaurants, and a pharmacy. Situated between the left and the right sides of White Horse Road, a park exists alongside trees and a light rail station. That light rail station is Box Hill Interchange, and it takes you all the way to the Melbourne CBD. To be honest, I wish they had extended the light rail beyond Box Hill, but I guess they have the trains that go forward after that. Right in front of us is the NDIS Commission Victorian Office, which used to be the tallest building for a while, until several other buildings sprouted. There is a tower called the Chen, which houses multiple apartments and a hotel block. This is convenient as it's close to Box Hill Shopping Centre. It also gives you a feel of what you can get in mainland China. Heck, I would go and say that this suburb will be even more convenient when the Melbourne Suburban Loop opens, which will connect from Box Hill to Glen Waverley to Clayton. So it's kind of like you're connecting from one Chinatown to another Chinatown. And if you head around Main Street in Box Hill, you notice that all the big four banks are in one line together. So this is pretty weird, but could anyone tell me if there's another phenomenon like that elsewhere? And then if we head to Sky One Tower, we note that the anchor of this building is Heidi Lao Hot Pot. It is home to several other Chinese restaurants as well. But the minute you step in, you tend to get a feel that this building and mini shopping center is pretty high class. Your eateries are pretty high class as well, considering that there is another hot pot place which is fancy. Besides that, you also have a mini food court, a nice set of escalators, and a million life plushy toy area so you can just play around. And then if you walk further south, you'll see Arthurfield Park. Much of Melbourne gives a pretty chill vibe, so this one does it as well. Although the water could be a little bit better, like a bit cleaner, but nevertheless, it's a good place to go and run around and walk around and enjoy some sunlight. There's also a big factory in the background which has been decommissioned and been made into housing. But anyway, that's it for this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe and share this video to everyone else out there. Until next time, see you all soon.